how did this all work out? Uh, did you did you ask for your release from the Jets? That's part of some of the things that I, I saw. How did this all come about, Brandon? Yeah, so uh, I did. I did ask for my release. Okay. <laughs> Believe it. Okay. You did. And 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 then uh, and then the Giants came knocking. How did how did that work? No, so I'm, obviously it's a process, and and you know you you go through um, that. I guess you, you put a criteria together of, of what you're looking for. So for me, it was you know tr- figuring out what was best for me moving forward. You know, I, I feel like I have a, a couple more years that, that where I can compete at a high level. You know, I definitely take it one year at a time. But I wanted to finish strong, wanted to finish the right way of winner. So, you know, when I decided to ask for the release, I sat down and, and put a list of teams together, went through the lay of the land and, you know, compiled probably around like six or seven teams that I thought uh, could win now. Um, and part of that criteria was obviously a championship uh, organization, an established veteran quarterback and a number one receiver on the other side and a team that had a, a defense uh, that competes at a high level. So, I mean, I'm blessed because I got all of that and, and plus more, you know, and you alluded to, you know, me being able to stay right there in New York. Uh, it had nothing to really do with, you know, my decision. I was prepared to, you know, go out west if I had to, but um, I'm glad I could stay in an amazing city and uh, in my same exact part, apartment looking o- overlooking the Brooklyn Bridge. Brandon Marshall joining me here on the Rich Eisen Show. Uh, what's your contact with Eli been so far? Great, great. He was probably one of the first to reach out to me. Uh, not even Eli. Archie Manning reached out to me, Fantastic. Too. Come on now. <laughs> you know, what's funny is right before I was coming on your show at the Super Bowl, mm-hmm. uh, so I think I came on, was that Friday or Saturday morning? And uh, I'm in the bathroom, and <laughs> I'm in one stall, and uh, Archie's in the, in the other And uh, I'm like, Archie, man, call Eli. There may be something going down in the next month. Hmm. (laughs) So Archie reminded me of that um, (laughs) the other day when he he reached out. Amazing. (laughs) Yeah, usually it's tough to forget conversations one has in a men's room, Brandon, (laughs) with another man. Understood. (laughs) Understood. And uh, now that you're there, uh, you and Odell Beckham, um, are, are being teammates, um, what does that mean? How is this going to look for Giants fans? And, and Shepard, too, Eli, the whole the whole bit. Walk me through how you're envisioning this positively, visualizing, Brandon. A lot of dancing, man. A lot of dancing. I'm, I'm, I'm now I'm working on my moves. I, I don't have a lot of rhythm when it comes to dancing. So uh, I'm going to try to keep up with those young guys. But, you know, on the field, I, I think that – you. I'm going to take a lot of pressure off of him. I'm going to make his job easier. Um, that's something that I'm uh, excited to do. Um, in the locker room, in our room, uh, you know, I, I think I have a wealth of experience that our young receivers can pull from, both good and bad, uh, and, and it will happen organically. So when he wants to, you know, lean on me or ask for ask me for advice, I'll be there to give it to them and, and also our younger receivers. So um, I'm excited just to, you know, be an asset for them and and uh, also just ball out on the field. You know, at the end of the day, it comes down to uh, winning games and producing, doing your job. So if I do my job, I think it makes everyone else's job easier, um, you know, and it takes pressure off of other guys. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.